Hello and welcome to lab number three for Microsoft Excel 365. Today we're going to have a look at how to import data from online sources. Now you might ask yourself why would we even want to do this? Well there's actually a plethora of information available online. There's almost unlimited sources of statistical data, referencing information and so forth. So it's actually a fantastic place for you to be able to get data to then bring it into Excel. Why would you want to bring that into Excel? Well, it means that you can actually manipulate that data in a way that suits you. So you can use your favorite text, you can customize the colors, you can have borders around the charts so that it's in the visual way that you would like to see or alternatively, that it matches your company colors and so forth. There's also a really clever way when you are doing this data downloading from the internet that you can actually link the information to the source website. Now, what this means is that with just one click, you can update that information. So let's say Every month you have to go online and download statistical data. By linking it in this matter, you simply click the button once and it does everything for you. It goes to the website, it extracts the information, it brings it back for you. So huge time saving there. As well as the benefits of that saving time, it also means that there's no manual intervention. So you're not having to copy, cut, paste, etc. Now, obviously, the least amount that you do manually, the more chance there is of the accuracy being improved and you not making human errors. So let's have a look at how there we can do that in two different ways. The first one is simply to copy and paste the information from the web page. So how you would do this is log on to the internet and open a web page that's got statistical or reference information in it. The example I'm going to use today is for the Office of National Statistics because I know a lot of Excel users do use this on a frequent basis. We're gonna to navigate to a place that's got information that we would like to import. And we're simply going to left-hand mouse click to select it and then right hand mouse click to copy that data. We're gonna open an Excel workbook, navigate to a cell that we like and simply right click and paste it in there. So the result that you're gonna get is going to look something like this. Let's do that now. I'm going to go to a web link. I've already gone to the Office of National Statistics just to save time. And if I scroll down here, we will see here is a table of information and let's pretend I want to import that. I simply left mouse, highlight the information. I right click and copy it. I then open my Excel document and I right click and paste the information here. Now it's pasted it with borders, bold text, etc. If I right click paste this one, it's just going to give me the raw data without any formatting. No lines, no borders, no bold text, no italics, etc. So either one of these options gives you the same data. It's just which option suits you better. So that's the first task completed. But as I mentioned, there is a way that we can link the data so that it will actually update itself on a frequent basis. So let's go back to our document and have a look at how we would do that now. If we scroll down to task two, the steps are detailed here. Now this might look lengthy, but it's actually very simple. What we're going to do first of all is go back to our web page. We're gonna find the area that we want, so the chart area, and we're going to make sure we've got that URL ready. That's the web page, the www dot location. We then open Excel and we go to the data 
tab. And on the data tab, there's a section called get and transform data. And we're going to say from the web. This will open up a secondary box called navigator. And in here, we're going to post the web address we want the information to come from. So that's going to be our www.ons, etc. It will then link to this website, which sometimes can take a few minutes, depending on the speed of your internet access. And you are then going to have the option to click on table view, which is going to give you a list of all the different tables or web view. I prefer web view. You then simply select the table that you would like to import and link to and then press load. Again, at this point, it might take a couple of moments for that connection to happen, but it will then bring you to your Excel document and it will load the information for you. Once you've done that, we then have a couple of options that we can have a look at. And we can look at our existing connections, which is going to tell us where our link data is and the all important refresh button. And that's what we will press on an ongoing basis when we want to update that information. So let's have a look at that now. First of all, in order to prepare, I'm going to come to our website and I'm going to copy this website link. I've clicked on it and now I'm going to right click copy. So I've got that saved ready to go. I'm then going to go back to my Excel document. And in this example, I'm going to open up a new sheet. We then go to the data tab and we select from web. This is asking us for the URL, the www. Now, if it was a short address, you could type it in, but this is quite a lengthy one. So I'm going to paste it. And as we can see, it's got the full address there. We then press OK. And again, this can take a few moments while it's establishing a connection to that specific page within the specific website. It's brought up this navigator box. And once it's finished linking the data, it's going to list all the different options on that web page. Now, I prefer to go to web view and we can see here, this is a bit of a shortcut to see what that web page looked like. And if I scroll down, we can see the table here. Now, to refresh my memory, this table is called table one. And it gives me the, the title of the table. So I can double check that it is actually this table one that is shown in here. I then select table one from here and I press load. Again, it's going to take a few moments while it makes that connection for us. We can see it's thinking about it over here in the queries and connection box. And here's the data. Now it looks a little bit different. The numbers are exactly the same. It's formatted differently because Excel has formatted it as a specific table. So this is now a table of data, not just copy and pasted data. That's quite crucial to en enable to update it on a monthly basis. Now we could change the colors and things like that in here if we want to. We'll be discussing how to do that on a later lab actually. So if we go back to our data query up here on the ribbon, we can see the other options. We've got a button that tells us where our existing connections are, and we can see we've got a connection to this table on our website. And if I want to refresh, I simply press refresh just this one table that I'm clicked on or refresh all tables in this worksheet. Now, as it happens, we've only got one table, but it does give you the option to do all of them there. Let's press that. We can see over here it's loading. It's going back to the website. It's got the information. It tells me it's reloaded 13 rows, which is right. So what an amazing tool to be able to have that saves time, it saves the opportunity for mistakes to be made, and really, really is a powerful tool that we can use within Excel. I hope you found this helpful, and I look forward to seeing you on the next lab. Thank you.